The only thing sneakier than hiding a 100 watt guitar amp on your desk is the amount of added sugars that they always sneak into organic kombucha. But I don't want to talk about that right now. I want to talk about this brand new incredible piece of gear that I got from Sweetwater. This is the Black Star Amp 3. Okay, so what it is, it looks like a big pedal, right? But it's actually a guitar amp and it can load a cab of up to 100 watts. Now, I usually don't play with like an external cab around, so I'm using it in just the direct out mode. Cool thing about that is I'm just going right into my interface. You can actually use this as, as its own interface, which we'll talk about in a second. But we have three different modes, essentially, and each mode has two channels, okay? So right now, I just have this. I've got Music Man St. Vincent going into the Amp 3, and then I'm going XLR out of the Amp 3 into my Mbox Studio interface, right? Like I said, Sweetwater just sent me this, and it's actually... Show Sweetwater some love. Anything that you click in my affiliate link will give me credit for it because they're flying me out to Indiana for Gear Fest tomorrow morning super early, especially the time tomorrow morning from when I'm shooting this. I don't know when I'm going to post it, but yeah. Love the people of Sweetwater. They always hook it up, so show them some love. Now, I've been using this a lot. If you saw a pedal demo I did last week, I've been using it and really loving it. So right now, it's just on the clean setting, okay? And again, it's really easy to go through the three settings, right? The the switches are super quiet too, actually. But now each one of these has two modes right here back and forth. So again, this is clean, and this right here is on the warm setting. You're gonna hear it as compared to the bright setting. But yeah, this is the preset that I saved. same thing and then just switch it over to bright. tell the treble has a different response now we have a lot of cool things going on here right so we can run the gain volume boost uh, this button right here just engages a boost so again this has a lot of utility aside from just an amp but yeah, you can set it up for a boost stuff live uh, and you can hit it pre or post which you can kind of toggle right there so you can actually drive the front end of it or you can just use it as a volume boost right uh, what else we got we got reverb reverb is you know a must for me. So again, the reverb is just on or off right there. And then on. And then the amount of reverb uh, you have at the corresponding thing. Dime all the way out. And then there's two different types that you can choose from here, right? So with that switch, you can just go back and forth like that. Mm -hmm. So again, that's the bright one, I believe, and then this is the dark one. I always kind of prefer the dark stuff again. And the nice thing about it is even when it's dimed out, it's still tasteful, so you can't go too crazy with it. Presence just talks about, or interacts with how the treble is, uh, you know, kind of being utilized, like an extra brightness character, essentially. It's usually how I kind of think of it. Uh, yeah, but then again, you have bass, mid, treble. I'm going to keep it mostly flat for this demo. And then ISF. Now, what this is, is basically it works with the EQ to give you more of a, like an American or a British sound. I think you can hear it pretty well on the low end stuff. I'm going to just kind of reset these. I'm going to scoop some mids and boost the treble up because I think you can hear the ISF a little better with that. Okay, so that's all the way counterclockwise. So I believe that's American voiced. And this would be more British. A little thicker. 
like, let's say if I wanted to just like save this as my new preset, I would just press and hold the clean button. Good to go, right? Now, mm -hmm. since I'm not using it with a cab, it's simulating a cab on the way out, all right? Uh, you can also choose how the uh, cab sim works with uh, the, the different types of power amps, right? So like this would be the 6L6 setting. <laughs> This is just if you want to set your power section for if you are loading a cab with it. Cool thing is, if you don't have anything plugged in to the cab outputs, it'll bypass the power part of the amp completely. So we're just going uh, direct in mode. I think my favorite thing about this uh, is that you can actually power some of your pedals with it. There's an effects loop that you can go in. And I have my, what is the Sonic Cake Warped Dimension hooked up right here. So. Right now it's on like a trem. It's pretty deep right there, but you get the idea, right? So uh, you can just do that and you can actually po power the pedals there. There's two nine volt power supplies that are built into the back of the amp three, which is really cool, right? So I'm just gonna run through uh, a couple more of the sounds, but basically this is it. Uh, then I'll maybe do some stuff on top of each other at the end, but it's really inexpensive too in the grand scheme of things, especially if you're just thinking of like a, how much a guitar amp costs and how portable this is. Yeah, so again, that's clean setting. We can go to uh, crunch. second channel on that one super crunch i think is what it's called right oh yeah sounds so good with the reverb i know some people are going to flame me because i put too much reverb on everything but guess what too bad it's so, so good, right? And then, last but not least, we have Overdrive. Let me actually, I'm, I, I'm gonna turn the reverb down a little bit. Um, So again, you can kind of hear there's like a lot of different tones that you can get. You can also just use this as a pedal. It doesn't have to be used as an amp. You can just go in and out and then feed other pedals uh, in series or through the effects loop. Like I said, I'm just using this uh, going into my interface. But like I said before, there's a USB out so you can use it as its own interface. So you don't have to, you know, I think that's especially good for maybe like somebody who's out like touring or gigging and they want to use it just to practice too. They can plug it into their computer, but then also still have everything saved on it, right? So uh, let's do something with uh, the clean, warm, warm spot. And then I'll play, uh, I'll play over that with the bright setting on clean with more of like an effects thing on it. Here's what it sounds like.
Now let's do something where the rhythm is gonna be on crunch and then the overdrive will be played over that, right? <laughs> Yeah, anyways, this has become the new uh, the new front end of any electric guitar that I put into my interface. And this is cool that I could also use this as just like an actual amp to load a cab. So now I just gotta get some cabs out here and get some gigs, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, awesome. I really, I feel like this really does a great job capturing the cleans. I really like the, uh, the American side of it. And then again, you know, you can't you can't have too much reverb. Come on. So yeah, super impressed by uh, the new Black Star stuff. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section or Instagram or the website. And thank you again to Sweetwater for sending it over. Like I said, any questions, let me know. And I will talk to you all soon. Thank you.